Hello. Welcome to Beyond Dots. In this video, we will discuss paint consistency and how it relates to getting the best results from your Beyond Dots painting tools. Since acrylic paint is the most commonly used in arts and crafts, we will only be speaking about acrylic paint in this video. Not only are there many brands of acrylic paint available, but there are many different kinds, such as glossy, satin, matte, matte metallic, color shifters, chalky, specialty, as well as additives. You can purchase paint from an arts and craft store, a department store, or a dollar store. With so many options, you might be wondering, where do I even start? First, let's get one thing clear, it doesn't matter where you buy your paint from, or what brand it is. What matters is the consistency, or viscosity, of your paint. If the paint starts quickly running out of the bottle simply by turning the bottle upside down, it may be too thin. On the other hand, if you turn the bottle upside down with the cap open and it takes a long time for a droplet to appear, or if no droplet appears at the opening unless you squeeze the bottle, it is possible that the paint may be a little too thick. If you hold your bottle of paint upside down with the cap open, and a droplet slowly appears at the opening, and the paint comes out one drop at a time, it's a good indication that your paint has an easy consistency to work with. You can have great results with a paint from the dollar store, and difficulties using a paint from the art supply store, or vice versa. What it all comes down to is how thick, or thin, the paint is. The ideal paint is somewhere in the middle. Before modifying the paint, it is a good idea to put a little of the paint on your palette, and simply test how well the tool picks it up. It is easier to pick up paint using the three smaller tools, than it is with the three larger ones. If your project only makes use of the smaller tools, you may find that you do not need to adjust the viscosity of the paint at all, and that the paint works well, despite being either a little thin or a little thick. If you do have trouble loading the tool however, there are remedies for both scenarios. If the paint is too thin, and you're having trouble loading the tool, the paint can be thickened using an acrylic gel medium. This can be purchased at an art supply store. Although gel medium appears white, it actually has a clear base that will not change the color of your paint, but will simply make it thicker. A little goes a long way, so add it in slowly and mix it in thoroughly, then test it before adding any more. If your paint seems very thin and watery, a ratio of approximately 4 parts paint to 1 part gel medium is a good starting point. You will know you achieved a good consistency when you can easily pick up and load the paint with your Beyond Dots tool. Alternatively, some paints contain a lot of pigment and can be quite thick as a result. This can also make them difficult to pick up with your tool. The solution is to add some acrylic pouring medium, which can be purchased at an art supply store. If the paint is very thick, then a ratio of 4 parts paint to 1 part pouring medium is a good starting point. Be sure it is fully mixed in and then test it before adding any more. Slowly add more pouring medium until you achieve a consistency that allows you to easily load the tool. Across many brands, you may have good results using the paint straight from the bottle. This is often the case for most glossy, satin, and matte acrylic paints. You may find a particular brand that has that ideal consistency that works best for you. You may notice that some metallics, color shifters, and specialty paints such as Dragonfly tend to be thinner and might be challenging to work with. Adding a little gel medium will often help to resolve this issue. Pro tip! It is easier to pick up paint from a flat surface than it is from a typical paint palette. Using a flat surface, it is also easier to avoid getting paint on the tool stem. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful and informative. If you did, please give us a like and hit the subscribe button so you can easily return to the page for new content. Please share your own creations with us on our Facebook page or on Instagram using the hashtag BeyondDots. We'd love to see how Beyond Dots inspired you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.